Hello everyone, this is one I got to show you today the new update for M2. This time it's 3.2, the version, and I make some great uh, idea and I add stuff. So as you can see here, there is a material mod. The materials mod, you can choose where you like the channel to load when you load the material here. So you have the diffuse, so this is the color, the specular, so this is the reflection here, the specular, the luminance, so this here channel, and the alpha and this is mid here. And like this you can select what you like to import. For example, uh, by default, uh, okay let's close this and open again. By default uh, the materials looks like, like this. You have the color, so this is me, uh, that's the bit me the color. So the null is me, is don't import anything. The disable is me, is import the RGB, for example the color. For example, is import here the color, but it's make this disable like this. So you can enable where you want. The Frenet is working a little different, so let's now use RGB. Just also, I want to use the other everything none. Okay, and let's import a model. And uh, let's import this model. Okay, so uh, as you can see here, it's import only the color, and we have a color now. If I go to the material and I change this to Frenet, and I you, you do the same, now you can see there is a Frenet channel here. And if I use something like disabling, okay, you can see here there is a color, but disabling, but you can see here there is the, the color, so you can enable and disable what you want. So like this is working this mode. Also here the text is the same. You can import the text if you want, disable or you do ca if you want you can skip. The circle is going to be different. You can use cartoon style if you like or original. Original by default is make original style. So let's show you this. So let's try original and let's use texture here. And let's import the same model. Okay. And now if I go here in my specular channel, you can see you can see here uh, there is a like like default, similar for D. But if I make a card to style, uh, uh, take this uh, here, what happened. Okay, so I'll make this RGB, so we see also the color. And let's import again. Basically, if I go to reflection style, you can see that there is some like card to style. Uh, this specular is make really hard, so, so you have some card to style. Okay, also the illumination is for this channel here, so let's import, for example, I it's more Frenet because as you know it's basically it's import the color and here I use filter texture so you see what happened to this both. So let's import this. So when I import here you can see illumination I have the Frenet and when I have textures basically it's make filter and it's make it really dark to, the, to make really luminous. So like this you can select what you like to be dark to play with the luminous channel and the stuff. Uh, this is just to help you uh, more easy to make the stuff. Now the alpha, this is uh, very useful because sometimes uh, some models have alpha and now I have null so you can see in alpha don't have anything. So let's use disable and let's import again this model. Okay, so now if I go to the eyes, there is a texture. The alpha is working when you, when you have texture. When you have a texture for the eyes, if you go to the alpha, you see now I have load inside the text alpha. So uh, I can go to alpha and I can enable this and you can see now I have the alpha. This time you want some material you don't want. So I, I leave light disabled so you can enable this alpha where you want. Okay so now I explain how it's working the material. Let's show you a little bit the tools. Okay let's close this. I want to make a new skin. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you is the cloth uh, collision. Uh, I make a, a tool for this to make very easy. Basically, you need to select the polygons and the points of the cloth. So I need to go to the mesh here and I go to the polygon mode and with my field selection I select all the cloth. Now I go to selection and I use high and select. And like this, you can see I, I see only the mode for the scale. Okay, now I have select all polygons I want. I go to the point mode and now I need to select these points, also I need to only high visibly, I check this and I want to select the top points only. So like this I use like bed. Okay, when I done everything, this is very important, you need to go to polygon mode again and you need to hide all. You need to see 
again the full mess otherwise you have problems okay when you have all everything okay you go to the tool and you make cloth and this is make a new object you can see here cloth and let's hide the mess and now you can see I have the skeleton cloth very cool okay so now I have the cloth uh, I need also to make this uh, with collision with something because if I enable the mess and I hit play you can see the cloth basically is through for the body so let's make collision for the cloth okay let's, so let's hide the cloth and now let's go to the mess and let's select the polygons I want to collision and this time I select only the polygons so let's select for example and uh, let's see these here polygons okay let's see okay I think this is good and when I select the polygons I go to the tool and I make collision with cloth and now I go to the cloth and I enable it and I hit play you can see now basically it's collision with the body very good now for example if I move little this you can see the cloth is collision and also if you want to make self collision you can go to the cloth here in the cars in the experts and I use self collision and you can change here for example uh, in the tag the stiffness and this stuff to make something looks better uh, perfect okay so to finish uh, the cloth setup this is very important you need to take the cloth and put in the first bone the pivot like this so when you move this bone the cloth also is follow the scale is follow so like this you don't have problems and uh, this stuff so just keep your mind you need to put all the cloth here the collision you need to put uh, outside this is no problem okay so the last thing I want to import now uh, emotion so let's select this and let's import emotion here so when you import when you import the mouse you can see the emotion you can see here th there is one problem the scales don't follow so how you can import correct the motion so let's make it undo this time okay so there is another problem here in the IK bones here when you move you see the leg is going strange you can see how the leg is going so let's take the bones and move like this so now you can see the leg is not going very well so how to fix this first I want to show you how to fix this you go here and you unhide all and you find the first IK tags the first one this one you go to the twins and just the twins the leg okay let's try something 45 degrees you go to the other one and I use negative 75 and now you can see I have fixed uh, the leg very easy when I do this I go back to IK and I use 0 so I have my original pose and I go to the whisk tag and I click set by pose and now I have everything so, so now before I import my mess again here the, the PMD data uh, in my cloth I select the cloth tag here and I disable just you need to disable so now I can import everything fine so let's import now VMD data so now you can see the scale is follow the character but before I enable again my cloth I need to go to the dress here and I click set in space and I click this button here and when I do this I go I can go to tag and I enable it like this now I have a cloth you can see it's moving with my motion very well so now you have everything okay you can go to the cloth and if you like you can cast so like this you can see in the real time small 4D okay I want to use also okay so you can see now it's cast take a, a lot of time so like this after that when it's going by you can see in, in the original how it's going so I click cancel and now you see I just uh, cast this uh, here frames okay and you can see how it's going okay okay I want to show you some tips sometimes when you open a model and uh, you can see like this model here and uh, you see this model basically all the polygon is disconnect so when I move you see it disconnect so to fix this uh, you need to put here a simple connect you go and put a connect here and you put the mess and now you can see 
is everything connect and you can see very smooth now in the connect you go here you use something like highlight lower try to see what is working better and now in the connect you push here very small value like this so you don't have any problem so when you do this you can put also happen if you like to make more smooth you can see for example here how it looks like I want enable and disable I make it very smooth now another tip I want to show you is uh, when you open any model here now you see we don't have any problem with the polygons disconnect so if I go to the mesh and I go to polygon you can see all the my polygon is struggling if you want to make a quad you can select all the polygons you go to the mesh commands in a track layer you make options but be careful if you do this maybe you lose your UV map but if I make something like 80, 80, 180 degrees I like this and I click OK you can see now I have quad but sometimes maybe you lose your UV map and now for example I can put happen and, uh, and I have perfect smooth nice and also you can see here this is, is done uh, uh, it don't make very well the subdivision. This is because uh, you need to put the connect to connect this part. So if I put the connect and I use this highlight uh, like this, now I have everything perfect. And something last I want to show you, very nice. If you want to use to you port to see like cut to style, you can put a light here and you can enable here the, uh, you can enable here an ample cruise elimination. And now you can see I see my viewport like cartoon, like this. So I hope these tips help you to make a better work for this plugin. But you need to be careful when you use connect and subvision uh, vision mesh or you have slowed down a lot. So in this case maybe you can use something like zero and the radio you can use something like this. And also when you make animation stuff, make this off, make your stuff and when you have ready to go, you enable everything. And don't forget to use this very small value. And now I have ready, I import also uh, the uh, motion data and you can see here how it looks like. Okay, let's go, go further. So you see now it's fast because I disabled and connect, now it's slow. So you need to be careful about this. But the nice thing, you can see now in Cinema 3D loud cartoon style. So yeah, this is the new update. I hope you like and find it useful. Thank you for watching this video.